Yeah. It's usually a pretty good chunk. Hey, yo, it's me, Pops Fan Marmalade, and you're watching the Comics Related Madness Network. So come get some. Cromcon. Cromcon. Oh man, I wish I could find a way to better advertise Apothic Press. Just back it up, man. Whoa, Crom, what are you doing here? What's this? The Madness Roku Network. Sponsorship. One month of playing your 30 second ad on the network. Three times a day? Oh my gosh, for $20? And you can't beat that. All right, all right, Crom, I'm doing it. Awesome. Hi, I'm Tanner Hurley, founder of Apothic Press. I back the madness Roku Network, and so should you. What is Path of the Pale Rider anyway? Do you come No, that's not it. Is it this? What the heck is Path of the Pale Rider, man? There's no way this is right. How about this? I have no idea. We're gonna rob a bank. Oh, it's there. What's up, everybody? All right. <clears throat> it's that finally, time. Again. I finally got in. That, I see his icon. But don't I hear him that. typing. Do you still need me to share screen? Because I can't. I'm at the computer. I just need someone to send me admin, and I'm good. I hear angry grunting. <laughs> Is that you, Crom? Probably Crom crashing the system. Just back oh, it already. Oh, oh good it. Okay. So Pops is here. I don't need to nope. do that. Nope, shouldn't have to. <laughs> yeah, I just like decided to reboot it again and then pull the plug during the reboot. Oh <laughs> jeez. <laughs> Make it do a real reboot, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. 
So All right. that means I can get back to work. I'm probably locked out of everything else now, but here we go. <laughs> Dang it. Boy, it didn't change my avatar or anything. This thing's all messed up. Yeah, mine stopped using my pirate one, too, for some reason. I don't know why. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I How is everybody? Welcome to... Meanwhile, my Mr. Happy holds fast down there. Mm -hmm. Look at him. Looking all cool. Uh, Oh, world's okay. greatest superhero that you've never heard of, but you should. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so somebody hit the live button, so let's get a recap. Right. Jeff, you best at this. Yeah, but I'm trying to remember exactly what we did because I'm playing <laughs> so many games and stuff. <laughs> Oh, I see how it is. Okay. I, I I can't stop myself from playing more games. I just kind of like, yeah, you guys need a player? Yeah, I'm in. <laughs> see, that's what I do, too. That's what I do, too. Um, well, basically, what? Last time, and like a couple more of us got possessed. So yeah. I was able to break mine. Pops, yeah, I think, see. is still possessed. Pick up uh, some curves. Jeff, aren't you like walking on walls and crap now? Yes, I am. I am. I am walking on walls, and I've become very greedy. <laughs> so you and Tobias are all going to be going um, walking on walls and holding hands and skipping loom together. <laughs> I'm pretty sure we decided we were going toward the north. Yeah, at the end of the last one. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I, I will. I will give my uh, my poorly detailed recap if that's what you guys want. I'll be happy okay. to do that. I'll be happy okay. to do that. Are we actually yeah. live? It looks like we're live. Yeah, we're live. All right. Uh, so yeah, as Johnny was saying out there, folks, uh, in my uh, poorly detailed recap, as you may or may not have heard, because uh, I play way. <laughs> We're still running through the dungeons here of uh, Asterak, or as uh, I'm sure Laurie would rephrase, Ascrack, because she likes to rename everybody's character, including mine, much to my chagrin. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to accept it. Not going to accept it. He will never accept it. No, no. But still, it's not going to stop her. And there will be a tattoo about it, I'm positive, in the future. <laughs> She's got a tattoo of a bee on her back. <laughs> my dog stepped on a bee. <laughs> anyway, the uh, the party continues okay. through this uh, labyrinthian death trap, trying not to get death trapped in the death trap. And uh, this past episode was actually pretty mild in that regard. It seems like we might be figuring things out a little bit. We we traveled along. We found some secret doors. We found some cool rooms with some cool stuff. Checking around, being uber cautious because this dungeon is dangerous. We barely fought anything in it, but it's the booby traps that have really got the fear of the gods in us. <laughs> and uh, a few of us picked up some more items, and you know, we keep running across these sarcophagi, which have uh, the various spirits of the trickster gods. And being trickster gods, of course, there is a trick along with the tree. Yeah. Uh, Vespas himself has. Uh, become uh become attached to one of these items which has allowed him to actually kind of fulfill his own uh insectile fantasy of crawling across walls like a spider yay and i, I can't help but think maybe if uh if poor hermes was here we would have found something that would have allowed him to fly R.A.P. i mean hermes. you you probably had a spell that could transmute him <clears throat> i was totally going to like cast a spell at some point to let hermes to fly because i have the fly spell and it's like mm. i never got the opportunity i'm kind of bummed about disintegrated that. Like, hermes moment of joy but it did not happen hermes uh, had uh, what's in the box <laughs> nothing <laughs> <laughs> nothing in the box get the dust buster <clears throat> hermes is done but in our in our latest uh, chamber here, oh, it, also it it has made uh, it has given Vespas the compulsion to be rather uh, greedy about anything that he happens to get his 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 claws on first. So there's that going on. Moving around, we did use uh, intelligence and tactics to continue to keep ourselves safe while dealing with uh, with enemies, and 
we are in an interesting phase of the dungeon now as we keep finding secret door after secret door which leads to choice after choice but is it the right choice only time will tell we know that the wheel is the way but we have yet to find the gemstone that is the key or have we eh, let's find out we'll figure Next, out over to you all right so uh, the position you're in now let me reread this Three archways overlook a circular chamber where a spiral staircase descends into darkness. The staircase walls are lined with unlit torches and iron sconces and set in niches containing moldering human skulls and bones. And you guys, there is a door to the north and a door to the west. Yeah. I think now, as I some... recall, we heard um, noises. Yeah, there's noises coming from this yeah. room. Yep bunch yep. of noise and it was like we're not going to draw any attention going in there and killing anybody because they're making a ton of racket let's go handle mm -hmm. this one first mm -hmm. okay so how do you want to approach the door balanor <laughs> well let me just bypass okay Oh, I, I got a question. Are we really going to have the noisiest one always the one going first when we're trying to be quiet? Well, we're not trying. <laughs> they're noisy as hell. That's why we're going in that room. Just bust in. Let's start killing people, man. I think that uh, those of us who can't walk on the ceiling should go in and be a distraction while the two that can walk on the ceiling go in and crash them from behind. We're just going in here and killing. We're just killing. Just, just straight right. kill it. Bust well, through the door. And start right, messing them up. Well, the... We don't even know what's in there. It could be hostage. Know. It, we it know it's a bunch of bad guys making noise. They're making lots of noise. We know what's in there. A bunch of people partying, dude. Well, they're not partying. They're just making a bunch. There's a bunch of noise of like hammers hitting shit. Oh, uh, I mean, it could be slaves in there working. It could be people that were captured. Okay. We Bust don't know exactly what we got yet. I'm going to crawl on the we're, ceiling. We're not going to find out on this side of the door. All right, you're crawling on the ceiling right in front of the door? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's, if we... Um, Ready when you guys are. Because we don't even know the dimensions of the room yet. Okay. Um, sure. What about this? Somebody like to bless the group before we go in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to... Yeah, but let me let me say this. What if um, we all hit around the corner and um, Buzz and open the door, and then er, Ernie kind of crawled through the ceiling into the room? Maybe they won't notice. And we could talk there's there's no way they're not going to not notice that. <laughs> <laughs> they're not going to notice. Not notice if we open the door. I'm just not sure. Yeah, I, like, I'm more prepared to do something like. Uh, does Balinor have any ranged attacks at all? Okay, hold on, guys. Just as First above. off, they have no reason to think that anybody against them is going to be coming through this door. We're going to have the element of surprise. You can tell that they're in there like work blacksmithing or something. Yeah, they got hammers. <laughs> Come on. No, like, here's, here's my deal. Everything in this place is obviously here to kill us. Everything. But they don't know we're here. Or they'd be all chasing yep. us right now. Listen, Bob, right. It's not just it. that, though. It's more than that. It's not just running in and killing someone. Because, honestly, we don't know that the minute we step in, that we don't set off a trap in this place. There's we, been so many we, traps in every single place we walk into. And that's going to happen no matter which direction we go. No all matter right, you, you're in the back. Go. The rest of us are in the, the front getting banged. <laughs> Does All right. Or... right here, dude. I'm waiting to put some arrows through the door as soon as you open it. I'm not standing back. Guys. Balnor, can I, can I, I get an answer? <laughs> Johnny. Well, we can go the yeah. other way. Okay. I don't know. Does Balinor have any ranged attacks? Yeah, I've been using my bow most of the time. He's uh, got guiding bolt too. All right. So what we can do is we can uh, we can pop open the door, and I can throw a web into the room that'll keep a bunch of guys from like running at us, and then we can just pepper them from a distance. 
Now, I might, I might my go feed question on them. is, let's make sure that we know that they're actually enemy combatants before we, can you do that before you throw that net on them? Everything in here is trying to kill us, but we're worried about whether or not they're good guys or not. He's, he's a paladin. He's always going to be there. And we found a whole bunch of slaves already that we freed. Not in, not in this dungeon. Well, granted, I'm just saying we don't know. All we found in this building is death and traps. <laughs> yeah, like you're you're talking about like uh, Rodney's dungeon. That's where we found slaves and people. No, granted, I'm out. just, but that's still in the same city area. That's what I'm going by. We haven't like, we're still in that same area. I'm just being cautious, but you know, don't want to attack <clears throat> something that we don't need to. All, All right. right. So, is Ergen open, open, open the door? I can open the door. All right. So, Balinor kind of sneaks up to the to the door. Clank, clank, <laughs> clank, clank. I'm sneaking. Yeah. Clank, clank. Yeah. clank. <laughs> I, I'm the sneakiest one here. And he pushes the door open, and old wooden benches and shelves along the walls of this chamber are covered with gears, chains, and trap components. Uh, cages filled with rats. A lit, iron, lit iron braziers hang from chains from the ceiling. Along the north wall, a stepped dais is set with a totally bulky contraption, an iron maiden of sorts. Attached to a network of steaming pistons, tubes, and bubbling vats of blood. Five masked dwarves operate the contraption. Here's what the dwarves look like. It's a torture chamber. <laughs> so I take it I smell something bad, right? Uh, let me I'll make sure. the blood. <laughs> <laughs> yes, there it's it's the it's a uh, it's pretty pretty rancid in here. And uh, you're, I'm you're, saying you're, as far as like yeah, you're 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 that's what I'm saying. Your thing is is pretty. All right, rank. well, I'm gonna, do we have to do initiative or do we get to let fly of my bow here? Uh, if you guys are ready, you can just go ahead and fire your fucking shots. Absolutely. Uh, we'll just roll initiative. Hold on. Let's roll initiative so we uh, have, have an order to do this in. Who says that after I shoot? <laughs> well, we'll take your 25. That's fine. Well, there you go. I wanted that 22, too. Yeah, now I get a 7. That's fine. <laughs> oh, it's good. getting work. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I wanted. Perfect. As a wizard, I usually don't want to go first. I like to kind of like set things, but in this yeah. case, I did want to go first to throw out that web spell. Oh well. <clears throat> Balinor, you are first. What happened to Pops' twenty-two? It. W I wasn't clicked on myself when I hit it. Yeah. Sorry, I got sixteen. I didn't roll it. Yeah. I'm gonna go for that. I'm gonna go for that closest one right here. Well, yeah, you need to roll something so you can get on to the. Oh, there it is. I see you. You're on there. What? Uh, Sorry, talking to switching. Tobias. I was just switching rooms. I had to. Come out of the Airbnb. All right, pops, you're up first. You got a twenty-five. Uh, I guess on, on Which is a hit. From where I'm at, it would have to be that guy, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, where am I think? I hit mine my by accident, so ignore it, please. Where did it go? I got to find it. Okay, there it is. Longbow. 13. 13. And uh, I guess I'll just hit him again because, you know, why not? Another 25. Ow. Okay, so we can get that guy for 21. Okay, cool. 
that's going to get a lot of them. All right. And Balinor, you are up. <coughs> oh, I missed that one. Oof. Yeah. Since you're in the same location as her, I won't make it hit you, but or hit him, but um, the 18's a. Uh, I can't see shit today. That was me earlier. That's a hit. <clears throat> Which one were you shooting? That closest one to me. I pinged okay. it. Got one on the left. All right. Your arrow sinks into his shoulder. And then the first arrow goes just wide right. And just kind of... It doesn't... You didn't have it knocked back all the way. And it just kind of like spurts into the room. <laughs> gotcha. I'm done. Okay, Er. Okay. Er. Ernie. So, I'm just gonna run in and get this guy. So, you got a name for everybody else, Buzz. What am I, Blister? <laughs> you are now. <laughs> 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 Always got blisters on my arrow fingers. I think we will Mr. figure out. That's a hit. Valinor. It's a miss. Also known as okay. Meat Shield. Please, wait. Please, flare your blows as well. So okay. I can see more. That's a hit. The other one's a miss. Uh, what about with Man, the blast? I'm a character where I get to make 50. Oh, yeah. Roll your blast. Yeah, seriously. Tobias rolls 75 attacks. <laughs> yeah, I've never used a monk before, but I've heard about... Heard about it. Wait, slash roll. D4. Ooh. Yeah, it's a hit now. Cool. Monk, do you constantly do damage to yourself for being holy? <laughs> <laughs> he is a walking contradiction. Yeah. Yep. Roll the damage for your second hit. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, I, I, I got to build. By level 20, oh. it can make on average like seven attacks per round, and as a Nova, it can make 12. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this one, you come in and just bite the shit out of him. And he is very pale and uh, bleeding profusely and barely standing. Mm, cool. These Yum. guys aren't so terrible. Does he taste like chicken? Jeff. Eh, all right. This was... Firing off the old web spell. Yep. Where do you want it to go? It's going to catch all these guys. I just drew you a nice little box. All right. Nice. And so, like, uh, DC is 16. So that's a strength save, right? Yeah, to do, to do, I believe so. It be. In order to move. Let's see. Uh, let's, oh, dexterity saving throw on a failed save. Uh, the creature is restrained as long as it remains in the webs or until it breaks free. I, I tapped the info a little while over so you can scroll up and you mm -hmm. can see everything. Yeah, I got it. I'm reading it. I'm trying to at least. My glasses aren't working real good today. I can barely read the text on the screen. Uh, you got dexterity glasses. saving throw on a failed. Your glasses or your eyes not working? Hmm. Either one. <laughs> <laughs> not in conjunction, apparently. Right. Uh, so strength check against your spell DC to get out of it. So let's do their deck saves first. <laughs> they all fail. <laughs> 
So they are all restrained. They ain't going nowhere. No ways. I guess. Uh, okay, now it's Luz's turn, anyways. Uh, and mm-hmm. this guy is not going to want to run into that. It was also my thinking. Yep. Yep. Do, 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 do. He's run upstairs and warn his friends. You watch. Do, do, do. Ah, what do He's I do that. <laughs> that's, that's on you, Pop. Shoot him before he makes them stairs. Max is good at that. <laughs> Why don't I sacred flame and then bring out the spiritual weapon? We're going to sacred flame the one right in front of Urn. E. Okay. Boop. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> All my spells make that noise. It is coming. Well, he failed. So that's seven. So... That actually Oof. causes him to bite the dust. You the sacred flame intones around him, burning him up and setting him. Uh, his body just kind of falls to the floor, limp. Oh, no, no, look at these terrible wounds. I will cauterize it with my sacred flame. <laughs> you burnt my food. Stop. Sorry. All right, spiritual weapon will yep. go. Um, t- the space north of the next closest baddie. So table, baddie, and then north is, yes, spiritual weapon. And we bonk for 13, which is probably a miss. Yeah, that's a I am also blessed, though. Yep. So, so roll a d4. Yep. D- d4. That's not <laughs> enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Awesome. <laughs> And I'm going to move back this way. Thanks. <laughs> okay. I kind of want to make we're... a centaur cleric now. Uh, who's <laughs> star so he can like do El Kabong. <laughs> oh, ha ha. That would be funny. Kabong. This guy? Yep. Entangled. Ah! D213 strength <laughs> He made that one. Oh, wow. Ooh, they, you then I'm just getting an arrow in your ass. Basically, I had to have. That's a hit. Yeah, six, six little wimpy six. Come on, man. All right. We had a way to like, suck him into the webs. Balinor? Yep. You're up. Um. I'm just going to attack him with my sword. I mean, he's all webbed up, right? Or can yeah, I get through the webs to get to to that one? I mean, you can get this guy. Yeah, as long as you're as long as you're adjacent, not actually in the webs, you're good. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Am I fine since I was up above him? Yeah, you're you're fine. That's a hit. No, the guy you were attacking Tobias, I didn't put him in the webs just because you were all over him already. Oh. Okay. And then Lori oh, look at that. Oh, whoa. Critical hit. Oh, the 14 plus one. Still not bad. Still over 30 points. That's Yeah. Um, so you run in there. Divine Strike. Could <clears throat> you could divine strike him? Just but a thought. You dig your sword into him twice through the slashing. You slash deep into the webs, and then the blood pours over the webs and causes the. I mean, the webs are still there, but they're they're covered in gore now. Oh, I totally forgot to do one of my epic descriptions for the casting of the web. <laughs> Is cool. that all? Is that, is, that, is that it for you? That's it for me. All right, Ur, you're up. Okay. We'll go for this guy. I guess he's the same as the rest, right? Yeah, he's just. They're all called tomb dwarfs. <laughs> okay. And I'll um, 
bite the shit out of him again. This one again. <laughs> but my bite attack disappeared. The heck? Um, it's not on my sheet anymore. I'll just... Can I, like... Nope. What did you do? I don't know. I just signed out and I, back I in. See, I see bite attack right there at the bottom. Uh, oh, I probably I have the wrong character open. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. Hermes, Hermes doesn't have a bite attack. <laughs> nope. <laughs> That's a hit. All right. That's a hit, too. And then I'll do these as well. Okay. Did the 15 hit? Yeah. 40 damage. Mm. That's enough to kill him. <laughs> Just enough. <laughs> yeah. Like a juice box. Yeah. So you grab a hold of him and just suck him dry. And uh, I drink their cerebral spinal fluid typically. Mm -hmm. That's what I prefer. You know, trying to regain him, my memories. Throw him to the ground. When he's all said and done, he just falls to the ground with a puff of dust around him. I like that uh, as character development. This guy's got to try to break out with strength. I had my damn fair drinking cerebral spinal fluid too because he's mm. also an artificer. It's like it pumped up his brain juice. <laughs> Nice. So he breaks free and jumps on top of the table. And then he is going to... Multi-attack. I gotta read it. So I gotta do this so I can read it. Two battle axe attacks. Hmm. Can use his life drain in place of one long sword attack. Doesn't even have one long sword. He's got a battle axe. He's got one battle axe in his one-handed battle axe, and he jumps up on the table and swings twice at Balinor. Swing and a backswing. Does a 21 hit you, Balinor, or is it, you got a 22? Yeah, he's got like uh, a 23. No, it doesn't hit me. Okay. I got so a 23. Those, those yeah, Balinor two. is a tank. This guy's dead. This guy has to try to roll a strength save. Failed. So he's still held fast. And Vespas, you're up. All right. Move around to where I can see once again. I get eyeline on some of these guys. I do not want to use a firebolt because I do not want to set my web on fire if I miss. Yep. Instead, I will... You know what, since this guy's in Balinor's face, let's go for him. And uh, swarms of insects fly around his head, and the buzzing drone is going to inflict him with a toll of the dead. He needs to make a wisdom saving throw at DC 16. Fail. Ooh, goody, goody, goody. All right. And he is... He's been damaged, so you get the bigger... Oh, damage. That's awesome. That means it's going to be 2d12. 13 points of necrotic damage as the bugs are uh, like gnats flying in his ears and up his nose yeah. all in his balls, sucking blood out of him. He's like, just like swatting her. at his face. He's swatting at his face and swatting at his face, and he's screaming as these bugs start digging into his skull. Anything else for you? I don't think I have a bonus action right now. No. no. That's that's for me unless a reaction happens. Uh, this guy... Success! Man, beefy boys. 
kind of what it comes. Shove him back into the web, Balinor. Attacks pops with two swings. Those both miss too. Yeah. And Luz, you are up. Let's do it again. All right. Let's come up to here. We're going to Sacred Flame, the one to the right of Balinor. Okay. A second here, the screen. There we go. Doop. DC 15 deck save. Success. Ooh, you made it, lucky bastard. All right. Well, we're going to see if we can bonk him with the spiritual weapon because I can put it over there. Okay, you can move bump. five oh, feet. Holy crap. Yeah, that's a hit. For yeah. nine, there's enough to kill it, too. After <laughs> the bugs are all digging into his skull, the the magical hammer just kind of floats forward, swings, and <laughs> just brains him completely from behind. I totally, I totally see like, him doing it. He's like, the bees, not the bees, Bob. <laughs> He's like, I will help you. I will swat the bees. Swat. Does a <laughs> forward kills him. Does a forward flip off of the table and lands on the ground, dead. <laughs> what? Well, he you just, hit him in the back of the head, so he flips off the table, yeah. lands in the on the ground, dead. <laughs> okay. Uh, this guy is dead. Mr. Bohawk, you're up. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Um, I'm going to turn to Biz Piz and, and hold out my bow and say, hold this. I will use my my smaller arms to grab the <laughs> they can hold. Now, if I remember correctly, I did break the curse last time, and I now have a mace of terror that I can use on a yeah, curse. <laughs> The curse He's is broken yeah. on the <laughs> on the mace, but you're still possessed by the spirit of Wongo. Okay, whatever. Everybody's yeah. still possessed. It fell and it resisted. Yeah, oh, you you've got the yeah. you've got that compulsion, but you you can put down the mace now. That was not everybody's possessed. Miss. Balinor's not possessed with it. That was a horrible miss. What the hell is this? Is it is it <laughs> oh, worth owning? It. That's better. There you go. Oh shit. <laughs> Three. Um, um, Bill, it is a mace of terror. It's got to have uh, an effect. Yep. So. You might make this guy afeard of you. Yep. Let me look it up and make sure that how, to, how that effect works. Okay. It has three yeah. charges. While holding it, you can use an action to expend one charge to release a wave of terror. Each creature of your choice in a 30-foot radius extending from you must succeed on a DC 15 saving wisdom saving throw or become frightened from you for one minute. So you have to use it as a you have to use it as, a, as an action, but you can send the wave of terror out and make everybody afraid of you, and then they have to stay away from you. Okay, well I only uh, took I two. My two attacks. Yep. Um, my question is, do I have a bonus action as well? There... You should have a bonus action if you got two attacks. No. Well, I mean, I used them. That's what I'm saying. I used my two attacks right there. Right. Yeah, you can't use this as a bonus action. This is a full-on no, action. I was wondering about this one. Searing Smite. Oh, Saren Smite's a bonus action attack. Yeah, you can drop yeah. a smite on a hit. Yeah. Oh, let's add one to that. Oh, God damn. Oh, Constitution no. 13. Oh. Man, so I, I well used done. it all up last week, guys. <laughs> yep. Uh, Failed that. So it takes another damage. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So your uh your mace attack is deflected mostly by his his uh his battle axe, but he you, you get a a little bit of chunk on his forearm and your searing smite burns into his forearm a little bit. Balinor? Not much. Kill it. You are up. Long. 
Um, can I get through those webs to get to that guy, or do I have to just shoot from where I'm at? How about this guy? Oh, wait, there's well, one behind me. That's right. Yeah, how about that guy? I'm going to leave that webbed up dude alone. Let's kill this guy. This guy. All right, roll your bless. Your bless. On, on my turn, I can drop the webs, but until then, yeah, they are an obstruction. Although there is, yep. there is room because it's a because it's a 20 foot uh, cube um there is room to move like along this side here yeah the edges yeah all right that's a hit or eight. eight do it again do it again so you still standing yep <laughs> stuck that's a in hit. those web for 13 all right. He is bloodied up for sure. You deeply gash into his side, into his his arm, and uh, blood's pouring freely from his wounds onto the to the floor around him and down his body. Finish him. Finish. Right, I was gonna sneak are, back to this guy. <laughs> that, take guy's out this guy. that guy's contained. Kill this guy before he hurts Biz. Wait, wait. He I can, can do stuff it. to people that are restrained. He you guys got that it. guy. You guys got he him. He gets a shot at Biz before we can do anything else to him. Kill him. He's All cool. right, so Ur, you want to attack this dude that's restrained and you can do stuff to him, you said? Um, I think it's if I have him restrained, I can do extra damage. But I think... So, but no, I'm, I, I forgot. I was supposed to, I was supposed to be attacking uh, five times when I did that because I have like unarmed strike and shit. I'll attack this guy three times and I'll grab him as well. Wait, no, that takes an action. So yeah, the, to grapple somebody takes up an attack. <clears throat> All right. You need to roll your, Wait, your, I mean, the guy's already restrained, so right now he's kind of a free punching bag. Yeah, on one of those, you need to roll your... There you go. All right, so you hit him twice. Okay. And then I can do the other thing, uh, spend another point. 19. And then I can attack him twice more. All right, you need to roll your bless on the 14. Don't forget that dude already had 13 or 11 damage. <laughs> All right, that's a hit. Okay. 13, and that'll kill it. He falls into the webs, just you know, gets swallowed up Dang by it. them. <laughs> Yummy. Hanging in the webs now. Uh, that guy's there's dead. there's that no guy's... on these webs because he's he's drained dead. it all. Still no memories. Okay, okay make sure all those guys are dead. Okay, Ur is done. Vespas, you're up. All right. Well, since I'm here, let's do right. Let's uh, hit him. I will uh, whip out my stinger blade and I will mm -hmm. attack and let's go rapier rapier all right the first one needs a, a bless roll bless the roll second one hit. it's a d4 yeah go with the blessy bless this you roll but a you, black, you, you hit him once. <laughs> All right. Hit him with once. For 11, 11. Not bad. Not bad at all. And because of my mobile feet, uh, I am an elusive bug. I will uh, Spider-Man up onto the ceiling mm -hmm. out of his reach. All right. Because I got that now. I am hard to hit like the cockroach. You have to pay it to be able to do that. Use a key point. Once with 
the battle axe towards Pops. That's a miss. And then he's going to try to do life drain. Oh. Oh, my. And he misses that, too. <laughs> I'll say you're not a vampire. -er. Okay, so his turn is pointless. pointless. Luz, you are up. Third time's a charm. Let's see if I can take someone else out again. Do, 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 do. Is that one to the left of Mr. Bohawk still alive? Yeah, he's the only one left. Really? That's the left. Okay. All right. Well, let's. Da da. Sacred Flame. All right. He failed. So he takes three do damages. Some, some. And then uh, he's barely standing. Move the spiritual weapon, and we're going to uh, hit him on the head. <laughs> One the squeaky two. toy noise kills me. Oh, Ooh. dead. Oh, nice, and that kills him. Ooh. Move Yet up another. The clerics here. Yet another <laughs> swing with the hammer that causes his brains to just come squirting out of his ears. Like what a fate. terrible way. And he falls to the ground. Death and by squeaky toy. Did you want to drop the the web? Yeah, I'm trying to grab it, but um, it's not letting me I grab got it. it. Trying to yank it off there. All right. Okay. Now, that was a highly successful combat right there. <laughs> I took out three guys. I'm checking this out right here. I think Earn did right. too. The iron contraption shutters. Oh, hold on. All right. As soon as you get uh, right here, mm -hmm. Pops. The iron yeah. contraption shudders as it opens, releasing a hissing cloud of steam. Through the rolling vapor, an armored figure wearing a bucket helm stomps into view. Give me a second. <laughs> okay. Why are you always touching things? Why can't people stop touching things? I didn't things? touch that. Didn't I just touch walked it. Just got close to it. How many times? <laughs> you to stop moving around stop touching things uh, yeah. i'm just gonna step the back here by valinor <laughs> that's how it always goes we always have to hide behind valinor i didn't say behind him i said by him yeah i'm behind back valinor. by him you're way back there in the corner hush yeah yeah that's where i'm supposed to be out of the line of fire hopefully And then here is what you are up I, against. I can pump my AC way up, but uh, <laughs> but I am fragile. Ooh, look at that. That's cool. Until it kills so, us, of course. I have a question. Yep. If I have action surge, that means I can do my attack and the other thing again. So I could attack ten times in one turn. Oh, come on, no. man. <laughs> No, no. Action surge lets you take. You want to be action. Superman? Just make Superman next time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, for instance, you get, a, you get another play. attack. Yeah, multi attack. Like here's here's okay. the most attack you can do, Tobias, with a with action surge because at your level of monk you get two attacks as an action. So action surge gives you another action, so you can take two more attacks for four, mm -hmm. and then you can use your bonus action for your flurry of blows for a total of six attacks. But then I have, uh, if I attack unarmed, I get an extra attack because of some monk thing? No, no. That's your regular martial arts thing. As a bonus action, if you're not using flurry of blows, you get a single bonus action attack. Flurry okay, blows cool. gives you two. a bonus action of two attacks as opposed to one. All right. I see. All right, cool. Thank you. All right, let, you're, me, get uh, guys, let me get this guy's... Uh, initiative on the tracker. And then we'll reset them. 
Mikey got a one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mr. Bohawk, you are up. He's gnarly looking, but he's slow. Uh, mm -hmm. We're um, using the same initiatives, right? Yep. Uh, is is Balinor detecting evil from this dude? Are we fighting? Uh, he is neutral. Your call, Balinor. I'm not sensing anything evil from him. I'm going to hold up my hand towards him and be like, hold and see what he says. See if he says anything. He doesn't speak. He just moves forward and comes out of the 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 iron maiden thing with the the steam and everything and then he just kind of makes his little uh basically kind of flexes his muscles a little bit and stretches and then he just kind of steps forward and uh kind of menacingly comes towards you I'm not feeling anything evil off of him. Okay, well. Yet. <laughs> um, he doesn't look like my friend, man. I don't know what to tell you guys. Do I stick an arrow in him or what? Can I, I uh, so. mind if I make an arcana check? Yeah, go ahead. I want to see if uh, Vespas can determine if this guy is a construct. Yep. What's that? It's a mechanical. Yep. It is. It is a golem. Okay. Uh, Vespas will will uh, rapidly explain telepathically uh, to Balinor that this thing is neither good nor evil. Uh, it is basically a meat machine. It's a it's a put together thing. It's just here for a purpose, and it's perfectly okay to destroy it. Will it leave us alone if we don't? No. <laughs> no, it, it, is, it is here to guard. Its function is to, de to destroy interlopers. Well, then. Destroy Jennifer Lopez? <laughs> By all means, we're I, just going to drop a bomb on him then. That booty I, must go down. Jennifer Lopez is here. I didn't realize. Guiding Bolt is a hit. Woohoo! For eight. And, uh, uh, yeah, since I did not get my bow back, bam, hand cross bow for six more. Well, actually, Pops, you. you get advantage on that attack with the. Oh, wait, no, you fired off the guy in bolts. So that's an action. That's the spell. That's, yeah. that's you. Yeah. So he does. Does he get another attack? No, I didn't think so. But I get, but I get the searing smite it right. No, you hit. Yeah, I thought you, had, to, wait, I thought you had to declare smearing smite. Yeah, that to, would be my last spell anyway. I ain't dropping that. Anymore. I'm good. I'm all good. right, fourteen. Eleanor, you are up. Well, um, I'm going to assume the whole person probably won't work on this because it's not technically no, human. It's a monster. It's so I'm going to ignite my sword with my searing smite. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to attack it because that's what you I get, do. You get to attack with advantage because it is lit up by the guiding bolt. Yep. Just so this 26 first is a hit. For 8 plus whatever your searing smite does. Part. Uh, How long does the guiding bolt last? Just for the first hit. Save. Okay, so now's a good time to do for me to do a bunch of attacks. No, no, it's it's gone. Balinor's already hit it. Oh, okay, cool. Nice it's saved against the searing smite, so it takes eight damage. And that's a miss, so roll your bless. Uh crap. Crap. Need a, like a quick button so I don't have to keep typing this every time. Still a miss. There is All a right, button. Man. It's up here, dude. See that right there? 
if you look at the the stream yard screen so you can see uh -huh. that see that right there oh cool i've been typing that out the whole time that's your whole table cool you're like if only there was a button <laughs> and there is <laughs> Imagine that. Right. What is the magical yeah. thing? Err. All right. Uh, two dwarfs dead. Dash hey, Lori, what is this path to the tail button? Is it a dice roll? <laughs> it could be. <laughs> path of the pill nah, That's not it. You want it to be. Plus more. Plus more. Plus more. All right, so the second attack you have to roll to hit. You have to roll your 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 blast. The third attack can't hit it. Okay. And the second attack misses. So the first attack takes 13 damage. So if I use my thing, I can attack three more times? The flurry of blows? If you, lose, yeah. if you use action okay. surge and flurry of blows, you can attack three more times. Okay. But if I just use action surge, I can attack one more time. Or, Which is okay. two times because it's his multi. -time. Yeah, he has it's two times. Extra. Yeah. It's two, but then I have that other. Okay. So, sure. I'll not use it and then just attack two more times. Wait. Yeah, I'll just do it. It's going to be using two more times, you said? Yep. All right. That's a hit. That's a hit, too. Nice. 10 and 17. Bam, bam, bam. 30. All right. So you dig into him a few times with your bite. Uh, you bite into his arm. You bite into his shoulder. It just tastes like terribly just rotten flesh. <laughs> yeah. And there's no spinal fluid. Up. <laughs> All right. And there's no spinal fluid to be had. Rest. Hey, Viz, can you throw me my bow when you zip by? <laughs> you know what? If that's what you want, we can do that. Um. It'll take my action to do it, though. Oh, man, come on. All right, that's what you want. Just drop it over back. here close. Just don't waste an action. Just drop it over here close. But because to interact right. with an object would be picking up the bow. Is an You action. have the bow. I handed it to you, remember? Oh, that's right. You did hand it to me. So in that case, yep. yeah, I'll just run over here. Because I've got extra arms. Beep. Yep. While those arms are doing that, the other the main arms will be casting a spell. Right. And let's go ahead and hit Jabroni here with a firebolt. So if you got extra arms, could you technically cast two spells, one with each set? No, 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 they got rules that so you don't like power game the crap. I'm just curious. <laughs> I know, because you got the biting monk over here just mm -hmm. going crazy. It's like <laughs> Well, monks are all about attacking a million, million times. <laughs> Yeah, moving super. The, oh, oh, nice! On the firebolt, the flame, the the firefly streaks out and just smacks him with some that napalm ass of his. Yeah, ten plus fourteen. Oh. Holy shit! Twenty four. I bet it's getting a little warm over there, isn't it, Valinor? <laughs> yeah, the firebolt just impacts it right in the head, blows a big chunk of the. The, uh, the 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 helmet off of him, and you can see the the uh, skeletal dissolved looking face underneath it. And he is still moving. So Luz. All right, he's still moving. I'm gonna put myself here. We're gonna use that same magical combination that we have been using. I don't think the um I don't think the the Spiritual weapon can get that far. No, it can't. Get that they way. move up 20 feet on your bonus action. 5, 10, 15, 20. So we can move it right up next to Buzz Buzz. But I'll sacred flame his ass and give him some more uh, flame. We'll light him on fire. In the butt. I'm going to light him on fire. In the butt. 
Dexterity Ooh. check failed, so he takes 11 damage. So his head and his butt are on fire. Yeah, he's he's uh, burning everywhere. I'll hit him high. You hit him low. <laughs> Good plan. And then he's going to make two slam attacks against Earth. Hold on. Starts his turn with 40 hit points or fewer. Roll oh, a D6. No. Oh, no. Some Garden starts his turn with 40 hit points or fewer. Roll a D6. On a 6, the Guardian goes berserk. Oh, he's going all flesh golem on us. Oh, no. Fire bad. Fire Not bad. <laughs> So he's going to slam against Ur twice. Oh. Oh, Ooh. dang. Is that a double? For 20 damage. Mm. It's what you get for running up in there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and Mr. Bohawk, you are up. <clears throat> 27's a hit. 12 is just enough to kill him. That's exactly how many hit points he had. <laughs> Let me get back in the game, yo. Let so, me get back in the game. One of the one of the bow yep. bolts goes right. right through his right through his neck hole and he just kind of steps back a few feet and falls to the ground. <clears throat> Dead. Yep, yep. Thank you, Chris, for handing me my bow in a timely manner. That was wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you. My pleasure. I don't know about you guys, but I like this, dude. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you okay, monkey? That's you. Er, no, er, you took 20 damage. Are you okay? Um, or, uh, I guess I, I'm in all right. I couldn't take some medicine, I guess. Hmm. Hmm. Thank you. All right. How much does it give me? It's not letting me click on it. I just, just roll a d6 off the dice thing. Yep. Oh, there you go. there's one. You guys, uh, you healed up. <laughs> yeah. you know, I think I think I'll make a medicine check. Too. All I had was the little tiny band aids, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's all right. You Once I like, get a like, drink, I'll be I'll heal up a bit. <laughs> all I terrible. have are them little tiny band aids. Well, I'm I'm clearly a wizard, not a medicine guy. Mm, yeah. <laughs> well, what you guys doing? You trying to heal or something? We, we, we trying to we help are this doing guy. the yeah. absolute worst job ever. Trying to <laughs> don't you don't need to heal me? Don't waste it. Our, our cleric <laughs> isn't paying attention. He's like, you guys are making it worse. You're making it worse. <laughs> away. That hurts. That hurts. <laughs> Those are supposed to be there. Those bleeding wounds. I'm gonna pull that band aid off in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm bringing out like the needle and the thread, like I'll sew it up. It's like no, <laughs> amateurs. <laughs> That's just how I look. Right, do we want to loot? Do we want to do any looting in this room? Is there anything we need to know? Um, that was really why I did the perception check way back in the beginning. That was like a seventeen or something. And you woke up the beastie. Yeah, when I walked up that way, but I never got anything off my perception check as far as like Cause, anything. Because things happened before we got there. Yeah, you were like la la la. Let's see if there's loot. Oh my god, whoops! That's not really that's not really perception check anyway. When like when you're searching a place, that's more like an investigation. You're actually yeah. looking. Yeah. There we go. You see, I can't yeah. investigate, but I can perceive. Do you see what I'm saying? Do, do you see? <laughs> Perception is more for like That's finding hidden thing. doors. Is, and... Things are sneaking up on us. I'll look for the clues. I can't investigate for shit, but I can perceive stuff. Well, if you look around inside the, the area, there is <laughs> this. There is oh, this. Yeah. A ghost lantern. 
Well, that's see. cool. Don't touch it. See. <laughs> what do you mean, don't touch it? Of course Can we we're see touch something it. in it, I take it? How about we read it? It says a restless spirit is trapped inside this lantern. While holding the lantern, you can command the spirit as a bonus action to shed light in a 30-foot radius and oh, dim cool. light for an extra 30 feet. While holding the lantern, you can use an action to order the spirit to leave the lantern and duplicate the effect of the mage hand spell. The spirit returns to the lantern when the spell ends. If you fall unconscious within 10 feet of the lantern, the spirit emerges from it, magically magically stabilizes you with a touch, and then quickly returns to the lantern. The spirit is bound to the lantern and can't be harmed, turned, or raised from the dead. Casting a dispel evil and good spell on the lantern releases the spirit to the afterlife and renders the lantern non-magical. It protects you I, uh, from uh, death. Give it to the cleric. I mean, uh, I, I take yes. it, but all the good stuff goes, you know, like being able to use it for light. I'm usually not in the front. That I don't care about the light. I care about the fact that that can bring you, that can stop you from dying in a battle and all right. stabilize can, you. You well, have to attune that, it. You have to attune it, but I'm just saying that can stabilize you from death. But it could be cursed, right? No, it's not. It's not cursed. The spirit, you can remove the spirit with a dispel. But I mean, the spirit doesn't seem to be coming after us. It can be used. It looks like it's a tool. Yeah. This isn't is, one of the, of the trickster ghost, gods. Ghost lanterns are not typically um, typically cursed items, although anything's possible. And uh, even the identify spell doesn't actually let you know if something's cursed so there's that you've got to attune it anyway so like yeah. you say it's not like you can use it right away but i think it should go to the cleric that's my two cents. but valinor could dispel the magic and then release the spirit so it could rest yeah then oh. it doesn't have any powers after that yeah i know i know dead. i want to use that to save our cleric <laughs> when she gets killed in a battle we need our cleric <laughs> what does it do anyway like it says that but what does it does it like cast a, a it creates spell? light i mean it the creates, stabilized spell it creates light i can use it like a mage hand like uh like buzz well, does the, the part so, like, where it says it stabilizes you when you fall though like what is that what happens is if your character dies or they're they're, uh -huh. they're falling or in death saves or bleeding out the spirit will come out and keep them from dying so you don't have to roll those you don't, you don't have to roll those three death saves oh, okay nope stable that's, that's cool. what happens when it gets flies so very useful that very useful cool. for our cleric yeah that's or cool. or the person that's or or balan or even because he's in the front and i mean whoever i mean cleric's good balanor has a huge but, amount of hit points and our our wizard can make it even more yeah, I want, I want our cleric to have a death save protection. That's a wonderful thing for a cleric. Let's find cleric Luz. Where's Luz's character? I'm a, uh, in, like I'm kind of a pop's mind. I, I kind of like the cleric having this more than anything else. I'll give the I mean, cleric to the ghost die, lantern. Right? Thank you. No problem. The cleric has the ghost lantern. Now there is a stairway that leads up. It's totally covered in cobwebs. Very, very thick cobwebs all the way up the stairwell. And there are cogs and springs and all sorts of stuff. So we've got the stairwell, but we've also got this uh, room over here that we didn't check out. So, yep. And another again, stairwell here. Yeah, stairwells a stairwells a plenty. <laughs> the I new Broadway musical. This level. <laughs> Let's finish off clearing this level. I think that's that's it. The last room. I'm gonna check this area for anything strange. People are strange when you're a stranger. Mm. 
Oh, ghost Lantern, that was a nice little find. Anybody feeling it? <laughs> well, uh, Ur's checking out the door. You roll I'm back in him up. Good. The door is unlocked. Well, Can I hear anything not, in there? Um, not really. I mean, you no, hear we some, didn't hear nothing. That's why we went in the other door because it was all loud. It was you like, hear a, a, like a little bit of skittering, maybe, and that's about it. Okay. I'll let that this knows. Do what? I'll uh, what? let this knows. <laughs> you might want to join us, Les. Sorry, I was doing finishing touches. I'm here. You're way up there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here. Yeah, moving. I'm coming. Uh, all right. Well, um, I guess it's going to be on our, our boy Ur to open the door. I have an arrow knocked and ready to go. Uh, so me and me and uh, Balinor can charge in type of thing, and you guys can... I don't know what you're going to do. It's up to you guys. I'm just, I got an arrow knocked and ready to shoot something if uh, things go south. There you go. Uh, I don't know <laughs> if I should handle the door because I'll just fling it open and attack whatever is in there. So, uh huh. Uh -huh. Is that okay? <laughs> I mean, Balinor is all about like making sure we don't slaughter the innocent. So maybe. Uh... I don't know if there's anything innocent down here. I mean, I was in here, but mm -hmm. still. We've. We've made that uh, argument. Kind of a murder. Balinor is, you know, going to Paladin. So. Yep. All right. Okay. So. It, it's an unlocked door, which is unusual for this place. Yep. You open the door, and candles dimly illuminate a sh clustered office. A skeletal songbird rasps at you from a tiny, filthy cage in one corner. Other furnishings include a wooden writing desk and a tall back chair. Anatomical drawings sketched on charcoal hang on the wall behind the desk. Seated in the chair is the shriveled corpse of a humanoid wearing moldy robes and a bronze mask sculpted to look like a frowning visage. Mm. Around the figure's neck hangs a black skull-shaped amulet. A number of several hands crawl on his desk and the floor around him. And he says, he just kind of raises his head up and creaks it to the side. You hear a couple snaps and crackles and pops as he lifts his head. He's like, greetings. Welcome to Aserac's dungeon. Aserac? Oh. What? We found Aserac. What Asherac? are you doing here? No. Hey, real quick here. What, do I sense anything first? <laughs> uh, let me see what Withers is. Hold on. Or anything, I should be able to sense that there is evil intent. Here's what you got. <laughs> with us. And? So, so what yeah, do you do here? Not causing anything. He is neutral. Yeah, I saw evil. something like him on My Hero Academia, but all right. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing down here? I am the caretaker of the. Wait, dungeon. wait a second. Did you say whether I felt anything real quick? He's, I know. I, I know. What you you, you I saw. feel the, the same. Evil. The same thing. He's neutral evil. Okay. Thank you. Sorry, I didn't hear that. Mm -hmm. I am withers. I am the caretaker of said dungeon. What does that entail? <laughs> Cleaning up, making sure the traps are in working Set. order. Uh, you got a little, uh, a lot of. Never mind. I was trying to make a joke about hands he, lending you a hand. That, <laughs> he's the one that killed Hermes, guys. Yeah, so that's my that's Hermes skeleton in the in the in there, huh? <laughs> he's, uh, if only there was he's the one that killed. He's the one that killed Hermes, guys. Um, so, so please I, come in, come in. Enter. All right. 
I'm gonna dive in and bite him. Uh, uh, bite him? You no. Just, uh, I said I was gonna do, just attack whatever was in there. I wish I should. I, 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 do what it. What do you want me to do? Do it. Do he, whatever. He did. Do that. All right. Roll your initiatives. All oh, right. Dang. There goes there goes exposition. Yeah. Yeah, I misunderstood. I thought you meant like you're gonna attack if it's something evil. <laughs> he is evil. And he's the caretaker of this place. Mm -hmm. He sets the traps. He killed you're her. Evil. <laughs> no, he didn't kill Hermes. He didn't yes. make the trap. He just maintains the traps. The same no. thing. He's the one that made sure it was in working order when our boy went rolling up in there. So that could have been me killing. I was in a box too. That could have been me. All right, Balinor, you're up. I was in a box well, too, but I'm not. In the room. I got a question here mm -hmm. because he said that he was going to attack. I'm not going to do anything until he attacks. Yeah, so yeah, I was going to dive in. I was going to dive in and bite right. the crap out of the guy. All right. Well, then it's Earth's turn. He did. Okay, I rolled. He's in the chat. Ding, ding, ding. Three times. Blink. All right. So the the third one needs to be roll. You need to roll your bless. Okay. Do we still have bless? Bless only yeah, lasts for a minute. Oh, a minute? Then you're out of you're out of bless. Okay. Oh um, no. So then I was gonna uh, use my vampire abilities. I, what do I have to use for that? I, I can like drink his blood a certain amount of times a day or something. Proficiency bonus number of times a day, but okay. Have we had a long rest since since you last did it? Uh yeah, I didn't even use it before. I've only used my monk abilities. I'm talking about from last session because you gotta keep track. Like each session is not a new day. Each long rest yeah. is. A new day. Yeah. yeah, we took a, we took a long rest last time, and and I didn't use the vampire abilities before that. I don't think I, I thought about it, but then there was no reason for me to use them, so I don't, never did. Yeah. Isn't this guy like a skeleton, though? He kind of looks like a lich. Blood in him. <laughs> looks like he a is, well, I try to get spinal fluid. Trying to get the spinal fluid. So I okay, so I think you're going to get dust. <laughs> yeah, I'll, we should. I'll try regardless. So. Uh, what do I vampire hunger is that it no it's not vampiric bite he's not a con oh it oh okay yeah he's undead it doesn't work never mind I'm not gonna do it that's it alright so you got 25 All right, Mr. Bohawk. Twelve, and let's get bingo. Double crit. Look at that. Oh. Oh. Well, there was no way he was missing on this one. <laughs> Is there any way that we could capture this guy? I keep thinking it'd be really nice to have the guy that knows where all the traps are. Yeah, I was going to ask that question before... Uh... Tobias just attacked. It's like, oh, oh you know, do you have a map to all the traps? Can you tell us where they are? I'm like, nope. Okay, I guess we're doing it this way. Yep. Um, Mr. Bohawk's arrows flow through the throw flow through the the area, and two arrows impact his chest, and he just remains sitting in the chair. He will be there for the rest of time because he is now dead. Yeah. Look at that double Damn. crit. Double yeah, critter. look Damn at that. The guy who can tell us where all the traps are is dead. Yay. <laughs> Yay. We probably would have lied. We probably would have li probably would have lied to us. We wouldn't know until we asked. Mm -hmm. It's true. Sorry. So what, 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 what about all this stuff? Is it all coming to life now? Well, there are all those there are just little hands walking around the floor. Oh, okay. Have them all attack him. <laughs> They don't can we attack. take them and can we take them and set them off? It's like let set them loose to set off traps so we don't get attacked. Never mind. That's actually not a terrible <laughs> not idea. Not a bad idea. <laughs> That's yeah. not a terrible idea. 
oh, I can put a bunch of hands in a sack, man. Just, just fling them out. Let them, oh, no. let them cr- crawl out. Hey, Max, yeah. I'm going to start looking the, through the table and his desk and see if there's anything there. All righty. Uh, what, do need, what do I need to roll? Investigation? No. Uh, Withers is a diligent scribe. His moldy yeah, journals track the history of Omu and the tomb of the nine gods in detail and detail the arrival of the Atropol and the construction of the Soulmonger. Hmm. Any character who spends 10 minutes flipping through the journals finds an entry that stands out. Here's this um, right here. Um, I was going to ask, does he have a diagram of all of the traps that he maintains in this mess somewhere? That's Here's, what I'm looking for. This is um, the... This is the, the you guys can see that, right? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's the the journal entry that sticks out to you. The Sone mm. sister. We're dead. What's glutting? Is that feeding it? Yeah. Feeding on so. Yeah. Feeding it so much it explodes, pretty much. So there's some weird thing that's being nursed to fruition. The master has brought the sewn sisters here to nurse it. There's something here. So, some si- yeah, the Siamese master twin ladies. The creature I... power by glutting it on souls. That's that's the uh, soul monger. Okay, and the master has brought the sewn sisters to nurse it and help build the device needed to feed it. As for That's me, I'm only really sad that my study shall one day come to an end. Blah 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 blah. I'm gonna use uh, pull out my dagger, Max, and I'm gonna kind of like move around his robes carefully and see if he's got anything on him, any maps or anything. Um, this sounds like razor level shit right here. He has. Man, I'm having a hard time fucking reading today. Hold on. Let me see if I can zoom in on this. You checked your blood sugar, Max. If your blood no, sugar I gets haven't. out, of, yeah. If your blood sugar gets out of whack, your uh, cornea is swell and it affects your vision. Okay, so Withers has enough equipment in his desk to assemble a scholar's pack. There's a manual of golems. Clay lies on the open on his desk next to the spell book containing the spells he has prepared. Spell books! On the inside back cover of the spell book is what appears to be a name. I'm going to hand the spell book to Buzz Buzz. Here's the name on the spell book. Uh, Don't read it out loud, guys. Okay. (laughs) <laughs> Kamara Blackfire, yeah. I'm gonna turn around and say buzz buzz and handing the book. You touched it? Boy, you ballsy. <laughs> I'll, I'll I, never touch a wizard spell book, man. I don't care if, if you're uh, uh, <laughs> the desk drawer contains a translucent fist sized gray stone that radiates an aura of enchantment. Since mm-hmm. you guys would do that anyways, I'll just tell you. Stone is, uh, yeah, that's it. It's just a big gray stone. I don't know if that one would be cursed because it's he has it, so I think that it, I don't hmm. know, he wouldn't want a cursed one, but it could be. Don't, yeah, let's don't. see. I definitely want, uh, I mean, he's got his bronze no mask, any... he's got a what mask? Oh, the mask. He's, Can I take yeah, that? The, yeah. It's worth Can 25 I take the gold coins. What, a frowny mask? Yep. It's cursed. How many, right. how many hands can I fit in a bag? I don't know. Probably all of them. <laughs> all right. so, bag of if, hands. Uh, no. Seven. Bag of hands. <laughs> and frowny no, skin no. mask. Thank all right. Um, <laughs> in the doesn't have a list of well here we go uh, the 
All right, I'm going to put together a scholar's pack, and I'm going to also take that manual of golems with me as well. Okay. And then here's all the spells that are in the... Detect spell magic, book. expedious retreat, feather fall, thunder wave, uh, darkness, hold person, rope trick, dispel magic, lightning bolt, blight, wall of fire, and telekinesis. Wall of fire is pretty nice. Useful. There's a few of those I don't have. I was really looking forward to throwing that lightning bolt down that hallway. Oh my! <laughs> but he rolled shitty on his initiatives. As I was about to say, I was pleasantly surprised we didn't get blasted. <laughs> well, you know maybe that was, double uh, crit, <laughs> double crit should be worth instant death anyway. Should be worth something for sure. That's a pretty crazy. <laughs> so, I mean, that should have some kind of bonus. Thing. A dual crit should have some kind of bonus. It goes. What about this gray orb thing? Yeah, it's a stone that's in his in his desk. Uh, Does he want to detect magic on it or anything? Or, or well, I said detect stone? magic. It, it 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 radiates an aura of enchantment magic. Okay. I feel so like this may be needed. Identify it. Don't? No, oh, yeah. That's, that's I'm asking Buzz Buzz if he can identify it. I was the one searching the desk. Well. Yeah, let me check this and everything because I don't see anything. I think you had to identify in one of the spell books you got. You collected a whole library of spell books down here. Yeah. Yeah, man. This That's why he joined us. He can skip around and get it. Unlimited <laughs> power. They kept they kept his spells from him for so long. He was like, "Oh, one day, motherfucker." <laughs> Day. <laughs> I will have all your spells. Hmm? Am I right? Am I close to the mark? Huh? It's really the only uh, the only reason low level wizards adventure to collect spell books and you know, collect gold so they can yep. transcribe spells. <laughs> Isn't it like fifty, 50 gold coins per level or something to transcribe a spell? It's, it's expensive being a wizard. All right, this is going to come as a complete shock, but I do not have Identify. Somebody does. I thought it was in one of those spell books that you got, like, from the Goat Man or whatever. Yeah, I thought it was, too. I did, too, but I'm not saying that I put it in here. But... Let me look it up. I'll make sure that he's got it. I'm pretty sure he does, but let me make sure. Maybe I'm behind on loading up my stuff. I thought oh, I loaded oh, it. Oh, what's up? What's up, Al? I didn't even see Al over in the chat. We we get tied up. We don't even know. What is up, Al? Rotten halls. Uh, that's not it. Was it in this one? Yeah, he was in this one, 19. Nineteen. We got, we got, we got Al. What's up, Al? What are you doing? Yeah, he had identify. He had comprehend languages, alarm, dead tech magic, expeditious retreat, identify, illusory script, sleep, and tensor's floating disc for level one. What's up, Doc? We got Doc in the chat. We got Al, up, Al, Al, and yeah, we got people watching. That's cool. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Um, I can't even see anybody's avatar or anything. That's how messed up my stream yard is. So, yeah, but, all the avatars are missing on my screen too. But um, I guess Doc wants uh, Doc wants. 
for Al wants to see people on the screen, so what's up, Al? We're here, bro. We're just shooting arrows, shit like that. <laughs> We're really here. We're here. Just but StreamYard, like when you view StreamYard and Roll Twenty at the same time, they just like drains you everything. So yeah, my. Yeah, they're they're just big resource hogs. That's why I have to do things on two different devices. Yeah. So are you gonna identify the gym? Absolutely. All right, it is the control gym for the gray slot. Oh. Huh. Well. Right. Too bad we already killed it. That'd have been awesome if we would have found this room first. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. You were looking at, you were looking for that anyway though. Right. Um, you know, I'm gonna pocket it just for funsies. Yeah. Okay. It's still an artifact of ancient cool history, right? Right. Okay. So nothing else in this room. We got the hands. What about the bird? Does anybody care about the bird in the corner? You um, can, the bird is, is 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 animate. It's not it's undead. Uh it's worth seventy five gold coins. I'm not carrying a bird around. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Is it it's oh, undead yeah. or it's it's undead. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> I respect you know. that. It cannot fly. It can't. That's cool. Oh. It's like Hermes. You're just gonna carry it around on your shoulder like a parrot, a mm. pirate with a parrot. You gonna name it Hermes? Yeah. yeah it makes any was. noise. It's an undead herb. Light. It sounds about right. Mm. It made Shrunk noise when hurting. you came in the room. I hope it bites your finger. Mm. <laughs> All right, so you took the hands. Let me get rid of them. <laughs> I'm just taking body parts and dead things. That's great. <clears throat> All right. So this room is cleared. Stairway. To heaven. You guys want to go down those stairs? Yeah, circular stairs, the stairs off to the side. Did these go up? Yeah, those stairs up there go up and they're full of cobwebs. I, well, we've already I'm gone down once, right? Mm hmm. I wonder if this is going to be just back up to the floor we already were. This yeah, one yeah. looks like it goes down. That one goes up. Yep. yep. I'm talking about this one. You guys want to go down? We might need something that's up here. We were already didn't we already clear that up there? Everything upstairs? Not, oh, not in the, the stairs. Stairs. If you if you if you head up the stairs or you get to the top and uh it's the the secret door that you guys opened up that had all the top the cobwebs and everything. Oh, that that's the one. Oh, but we just didn't take it. All right then. Yep, you guys didn't go down it. Okay. Go down. There's a spider there. I don't want to go. Okay. All right. Let me stack all you guys close to each other so I can copy and paste you. Forget this. <laughs> I was just making sure I got my spells this time. Copy. Level three. I have so many cantrips now. So Doc's just going to keep us running in the background while he's working on painting commissions. That's most excellent because that helps the watch hours. You know what I'm saying. Everybody, at, hey, Al. Love, love seeing you out here, man. Do me a favor, hit the share on this because we try to be that's entertaining. The, like you know, listen to listen to podcasts and streams and things while I'm working on my art. We're trying to be entertaining, right, guys? Yeah, <laughs> we're trying. <laughs> uh, where are we? What is going on here? Let me open up the stuff for this sheet. Hold on. 
Dum da dum dum. Is there we room gotta... to go through these little tiny tunnels? Usually Not you can get it. through them, but you gotta be smaller creatures. Balinor ain't getting through that. No, ain't no way. But I could always send a sting through to scout if need be. Yay, sting. Got we the got the feeling a, we got a stone spell like, here soon. Yeah, it looks like we got a door once we get to the bottom here. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As usual, I'm standing up on the steps here with Monero knocked and ready to go. Ready to let go. Go, go. All right, my dog is whining. I got to go take him out. Oh, okay. All right. Let me play. You know what that's like? Ad time. It's time for us to play ads, people, because you know, we got some good ones. We got a new one from Doran Corkum. Check it out. Oh, Oh, it's. I wonder if we're back. I hear you. <laughs> I do not hear Max, though. So, dun, dun, dun. We got one more we can play. Here we go. All right. Uh, I told that moron not to take out my Tchaikovsky tape. No matter. Let's get started. <laughs> Nancy Moon. The last time we left our heroine, she had just joined my esteemed colleagues at level M. And the soldier who cannot stop talking, a magician with money issues, and a vampire with a checkered past. But there are other teammates she has yet to meet. One in particular might be a little bit shocking for her. I do hope she's not allergic. Back in today, won't you? Like right now. Alrighty. I am back. Oh, God. So, Balinor could fit through here, but the only way to fit through here would be to, like, take off his armor and drag it along with him. <laughs> Not happening. <laughs> well, it could happen. We'll just make sure we get a couple of people in the room, like, ahead of time so that he's not walking in there naked ahead of us. You know. You know. 
we, we can protect it. It's not that big a deal. Well, we don't even know that exists right now. That's yeah. all special. I'm I'm just standing here with an arrow knock. My fingers are getting tired. That's why they call me blister. <laughs> My fingers always got blisters from holding arrows ready to fire for so long. Does somebody you... already open the door? No, no, no one's opened the door yet. I'm waiting. We we took a break because dogs <laughs> needed peeing. No, I just wanted to make sure before we left if uh, if that door was open, I probably would have shot whatever's on the other side of it if there's something there. So I'm ready. I'm up on the stairs and bumping by you guys' head, just waiting for somebody to open the door. Yeah, fireball ready to go. Fine, I'll open it. <laughs> the resignation in his voice, <laughs> fine, I'll do it. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> The right thing. Do we need initiative or can uh no um this room is dark and dusty. A hulking figure wearing a bucket helm stands to the west. Ah, uh, one of those with one hand on an iron lever set into the wall. Oh, shit. The south wall is sloped and has a high, large, rectangular window five feet wide and seven feet high. The window looks like it looks into a hallway. Through a rectangular hole in the hallway floor, further down the wall, a well-lit room shaped like a cylinder tipped on its side. Uh, we should go out of here. There's This is a giant trap. <laughs> giant trap. We're all yeah. going to die. He's holding on to a lever. We do not want that lever to be pulled. Whatever's going on, we don't want that lever to be pulled. Um, um, can I do pass without a trace and get us all into this thing, into this? Well, what do do I sense anything off this creature first? No. It's a construct, right? Is that what you said? Yes. Yeah, no, world. he just said it's a bucket ha helmeted bucket. thing. So yeah, looks like the other thing, but eh. yep. It's gonna like rain boiling oil or something on us, guys. Or Why don't you try to bring out that stone and see if you can control it? You want me to what? The stone is for us. You have a stone that controls constructs. No, see if it'll no, work. no. The stone it was for the uh, the frog demon from Limbo. The one was we got from the desk? Yeah. We, yeah. That was for something right. we already killed. That was the one that we already killed. Um, is it right, made of hold, hold on. My son's calling. Hold on. Yeah, I already uh, I already identified that thing as the slots control, Jim. Okay, I didn't know if it was, that's what it was controlling. Okay. Yes. Is that bucket head made out of stone? Or is he made out of metal? It's a construct made out. That's what... The kind of things those guys were making in that room we killed. The uh, the tomb guardian that we fought was a combination of like armor and reanimated flesh. All right, because if it was made out of stone, I could control, or at least I could like bind its hands or something, so it couldn't pull the lever. But nope. This this whole level oh. looks like it's oh. a giant grinder. Yeah, I mean that's that's the purpose of this whole dungeon. Asterak just likes to torture adventurers. Okay. We're gonna have to run back up these stairs, you guys. <laughs> you know, it could well, be interesting. Other, uh, we could go back you, up and go back down through that other way. If you happen to get the initiative though, Lori. Um you could conceivably use glue stone it to the wall. Well, I was thinking you could conceivably use stone shape to basically cover that lever in stone to keep yeah. it from moving. Yeah. Was, yeah. There might be could do thing to his feet. You can keep him in place and freeze his hand in place. I have to touch it. I have to go in there to touch it to do the stone thing. That's got to be physical, because I was thinking about whole so person, but I can't do without it. a trace, can she get up next to it and do it? 
He's going to already see us. We open the door. Pass him through all the I trays. Mean, you open the door. He's like, well, there's somebody coming through the door. Yeah, we're not going to disappear. Pass well, he's he's, he's, he's facing disappear. the other direction. He's facing. Well, I thought him. he was facing us. He's looking, he's out, the no, he's looking out the window. But, but still, oh, okay. So, but I switch for something that happens on the other side of this window. Mm -hmm. But I, I, I do have to go because my son's car broke down and I have to go oh, pick no. him up. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Well. Yeah. Uh, short session. Yeah. Sorry about that. Okay. Hey, Max, you need anything? Let me know. All right. Yeah, I will. It's, it's no big deal. I just got to go pick him up and wait for AAA to come. Whatever. Yeah, check your sugar too, because if your eyes are bothering you, right? Yeah. I yeah, will do man. That. All right. Well, thank you guys for playing. Sorry I had to tip out so quickly, no but I will talk to you guys later. Bye, later. Right. Um, Bye man. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Go check out the Roku campaign. Go check out all the cool stuff going on everywhere in the madness, because there's always cool stuff oh. going on in the madness. For everybody who doesn't have to leave immediately, uh, like Max, hang out for a second after we're done, if you will. All right. All right. Thanks, everyone. I'm just going to play this one comic books for kids, and then we are out. Peace. Comic Books for Kids provides comic books to kids in hospitals and cancer centers across the U.S. It's a place where we can all work together to make sure every child has a comic book. 100% of all proceeds go towards the kids. It's about making a difference, and while they're in the hospital, allowing them to fly like a superhero, battle dragons, or rescue teddy bears. We are in every state in the country and now support over 160 hospitals. Every month, we add more. Visit CB4K.org.